Hello viewers, here is the VTAC telephone model CS6124. This is the same thing as the 6114 except this has the digital or digitan answering system within it. I originally wasn't going to do a video on this set, but then I remembered that there's this very annoying trend where cheap, common, even still in production, average, everyday, easy to find, easy to come across senior viewer products get landslides more views and interest than rare, expensive, hard to find, long discontinued products too, which drives me absolutely insane. But as a result of that, I figured there's going to be people that want to see this, so I'll do a video on it. Now I have used the non-answering machine version before of this telephone, and I believe it retails for about $13, and for that price, I find it quite satisfactory. I don't know how much this one retails for, I can't imagine it's that much more, but I suspect, as I've often found with VTEC's more recent economy stuff, that this too will be a pretty satisfactory product. So, let's see, my first curiosity is does this have a bass ringer? It does have a bass ringer. So that right there would probably cause me to buy this one over the non-engine machine version because the ringer on the handset is not super loud and having the ringer on the bass kind of solves to an extent that problem. The bass ringer is not super loud but it certainly has more volume than the handset does. So somebody had changed it from the default tone, that's kind of uncommon. Alright, let's see here. So this does have remote access to the answering machine. Okay, let's go ahead and call this thing up. Okay, we did get the caller ID. And it looks like the battery is out of charge. So that's that's great. Um, I have another battery over here somewhere. Let's see if this one's charged up more. Now that battery is only charging for a couple of minutes. And it seemed to hold some charge, so that's got something going for it. I have to say that these newer VTEC phones seem to be pretty good on the batteries. I'll grab my box of batteries here and see if I can find one that's already charged up. I think I should have some in here. More than not. Well, maybe I'll just jam one of these in here. It's the wrong size, but I think I could still make it fit, and I know it's charged up. Yeah, there we go. That was. I mean, it's still saying low battery, but I don't, I don't believe that anymore. I'm pretty sure that battery was charged up. Let's just try one more of them. I thought that was a relatively new battery. Okay, this is saying low battery as well. 
I think we're just going to go with it. It may be saying low battery because it wants us to not charge for a while. Anyways, so let's see here. Let's do the answer machine first. Looks like the settings are going to be done within here. This has no speakerphone. It's really the only feature that this lacks is speakerphone. Otherwise, it seems like it's pretty full featured. Uh, let's see here, play number two. I should put the amplifier on so that we can hear this. Okay, standard uh, VTEC announcement. That's fine, we'll go with that for now. Um, answer is on. So set up call screening. I'll turn that off. And we have ring, so we'll put that down to uh, two. Didn't see an announce only uh, option on there. Maybe it doesn't have that. Alright, let's call this and record a message. One, two, three. Is it recording? No, I don't I don't think it's recording. I don't know why that screws up sometimes. Let's try again. Okay, hopefully, did I just screw it up again? I think I screwed it up again. I need to pay attention. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Okay, that time I didn't screw it up. This is a test of the Digitan answering system on this VTEC Digitan cordless phone. Over and out. Okay. That message went through just fine. Those other ones were user error. You have one new message. Wednesday, 4, 15 a.m. Okay, that time I didn't screw it up. This is a test of the Digitan answering system on the CTEC Digitan cordless phone. Over and out. End of messages. Okay, so it's not bad, actually. I'm kind of surprised it sounds as good as it did. It didn't sound great, but it's pretty typical Digitan poor quality, you know, really compressed audio, but for a cheap phone, I would say that even was slightly above average. Alright, let's try to record it or play them off of here. Okay, let's record a new announcement. Record after the tone. Press 5 when you are done. 
You have reached the Digitan answering system at the donut store. Record a message or we're not calling you back. What is going on with this equipment? Always got to kick the tripod in every video. Okay, so that's saved, I guess. Let's call and listen to the new greeting. The Digitan outgoing message sounded very tinny. The bass is way too lightweight. You, you can hardly press the buttons. One new message and one old message. Wednesday, 4, 18 a.m. The Digitan outgoing message sounded very tinny. End of messages. Okay, let's record a memo. This is a Digitan recording test. Goose Goose, one, two, three. The stinky skunk was near a goose. I like what it shows on the screen while it's doing this stuff. This was just a bogus test message to show what was on the screen. It sounds like there's side tone while it's recording. That's interesting. Okay, so that seems to work just fine. Let's see if we can go forwards here and backwards. Set. It's not very loud. Does this have any kind of a charge light on it? I don't think it does. The battery icon is going up. But it doesn't seem to have any other indicator. Which, if you're using this in a bedroom, that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, now let's make some outside calls.
Eastern Bank Time, 8.26. Current temperature, 47 degrees. Rain today, highs around 50, northeast wind, gusting 30. Rain tonight, chance of drizzle, lows upper 40s. Monday, mostly cloudy, chance of light rain and drizzle during the morning, a high in the upper 60s. That sounds just fine to me. One of the weird things about this phone is that the buttons register on release, not on press. So it's like you press it, and you think it's not working, so you keep pressing it harder, and then it registers when you release it. That's very strange. I can't think of any other phones that function that way. Okay, now I'll go back to the internal line, and I will call the testing answering machine and record a testing message. Two new messages, and eleven old messages. Message one. Oh, Goose, this is a testing message from the VTEC CS6124. Okay, now I will start exiting the studio here and move across the room to make sure that the range is what it should be. And I would expect that it works perfectly clearly all the way across the room. I am all the way across the room, so if it's still clear, then it is the working. Okay, and the battery is still indicating that it is low, which I don't quite understand because I don't believe that the battery is not charged. Okay, and I'm going to hang up into the base, and then I'm going to call back for a second time and hang up with the buttons. Message two. This time I will hang up using the button. End of messages. Okay, that sounded just fine on the testing messages. And it sounded pretty good on the incoming as well. So, aside from the speakerphone, this has most, if not all, of the features that I would look for. The directory in the caller ID log is kind of small. I think it only holds 30 entries apiece. But, you know, for an inexpensive phone, if you don't need the speaker, I think this is a pretty solid unit.